If you are out in the short north this weekend, you may see an increased police patrol. And that is because the short north alliance is keeping its crime interdiction program. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman is live in the short north to break down new numbers for us. Anna. Jen and Jared, the statistics show a slight increase in some crimes like motor vehicle theft and assaults from 2021 to 2022, but it did show a slight decrease in some of their target crimes. Now those include felony thefts, robberies, and also noise calls. This program started as a pilot in 2021 due to a spike in crime in the area. There are now around two dozen CPD officers on the team. Their shifts are spread out Thursday through Sunday. They focus on late night hours from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. with the majority of those officers working on Friday and Saturday. According to the data, officers responded to around 700 incidents and worked more than 3,000 hours in 2022. Betsy Pandora, the executive director of the Short North Alliance, says they are also planning to expand their Short North Ambassador Program, who are trained in de-escalation. She says she's thankful to the City of Columbus for helping to fund this mission that team actually resumed its work for the year in 2023 um, this past weekend with um, uh, a big moment for all of us, the Arnold Sports Festival returning um, to Columbus. So having that many visitors in our community, it was really key for us to make sure that that program was operational again. I spoke with the Columbus police lieutenant in charge of this team, and he called it a great success. He says the officers are also building really great relationships with business owners, which is really helping them with their mission. Local for you in the short north, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.